Uh, there is another story that we have this week about um, a councillor who has been dropped as the um, candidate because she was suspended and she was suspended <coughs> one day after her nomination uh, papers were submitted. Um, Janice Blackburn, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, now you, you were You've been a, la a Labour councillor in Southport um, since 2018 and, and you were the first Labour councillor in Southport since 1970 something. Yes, um, changed the boundaries, yeah. So uh, you've, you've put yourself in a very good position and Labour's in a good position in Southport. I mean, what on earth did you do that was so wrong that you would get suspended a day after you'd put your nomination papers in? Well, what I did was retweet a couple of tweets in, in the first half of 2020, just after the election and during the initial lockdown. And then I received um, a notice of investigation in October last year. And I responded to it and I had some help in responding. I had to really be, you know, if I wanted to carry on standard as a councillor, I had to really sort of go how sorry I was for retweeting these tweets and how wrong I was. And then I never heard anything until the 1st of April. Um, Friday, the 1st of April at five o'clock, I got a, an email to say that I'd been suspended for six months. I couldn't stand, I couldn't attend meetings, I couldn't campaign, I couldn't do anything. So you had, they had all that time to make a decision mm. and they just left it right up to yeah. the, almost, but not even the last minute, past the last minute in a yeah. sense. Yeah. And you'd so, obviously put lots of work, I mean, as a counsellor, you're already doing work as a counsellor yeah. um, with surgeries and stuff, but also you're, you've been doing campaigning, obviously, oh, for yeah. this new election. You've probably put leaflets out and um, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I have to knock on doors here in Southport to, uh, you know, just putting leaflets out is not enough. Um, yeah. Seth in itself as a whole borough is um, quite strongly Labour, a lot, a lot, lot of Labour councillors, but in Southport, as you say, you didn't have any. We've got seven now. Well, well, we'll see at the election. <laughs> uh, but um, so it was Friday and then Tuesday, four o'clock is when it's the cut off when everything has to be the nomination papers are all finalised. So over that weekend, I thought, well, I'll still stand. I could stand. Um, there was some, you know, the the um, the secretary of the LGC was very good and a couple of other people were ringing around and found I could still stand as a Labour candidate because I'd signed the thing for the Labour rows and everything. But I couldn't campaign. And no one else could campaign for me. So I thought, well, I'll still stand. You know, I'll be awkward and I'll just still stand. But um, over that weekend, there was some pressure from other councillors and other people, and not many, but most people on my side, but other people saying, well, it's the, you know, it's the, it's the broader sort of project in South Coast that um, we'll never get you elected uh, without get out the vote. That's a big thing, you know, on the, yeah. on the last couple of days. Um, and so because of that pressure, I stood down and uh, somebody else is now taking my place. I'd already put lots of leaflets out with my face all over them and what work I'd done and knocked on doors from the middle of January. We started knocking on doors in the ward. Do you um, don't know what those tweets were, do you? Yes, yeah, show me. I don't know what the tweets were. Um, there were like a big long list of tweets. Uh, but they only chose two. One was um, a guy from that campaign against anti-Semitism um, with a little video of him saying, we slaughtered Jeremy Corbyn. Right. Yeah. Um, and uh, boasting about how he slaughtered Jeremy Corbyn. And so I was just after the election when we'd been slaughtered here in South but because of Brexit and what have you. So I retweeted that. And then there was another one um, something that Jeremy Cor Corbyn had said about Palestine and, and how we should have sanctions against, it, against Palestine and somebody else has retweeted that and I've retweeted them um, but the person more, more Munger Hodges I think 
Right. Yeah, uh, I'd retweeted it uh, saying, I wonder why the Board of Deputies, I mentioned a few other groups, don't, um, you know, didn't want Jeremy Corbyn to become Prime Minister. Uh, and there was just those two tweets. I just retweeted them. You know, I never wrote a tweet myself. I just retweeted those two tweets in, I think it was January and June 2020. Since then, after when I thought I'll stand again, I did clear, cleared all my Twitter. So, so somebody had screenshot it or they have a way of finding these things. How how do you feel after all this? I mean, it must be heartbreaking for you to, to have to have faced all that. Yeah, yeah, it was horrible. I've had a lot of support from people, from um, that other councillors and other people in the party locally and, and people from other areas in the borough, you know, phoning me up, a couple of people have phoned me up, lots of messages um, being supportive. And, uh, well, I ended up in the Liverpool Echo because... Somebody phoned me up and asked for my story. So um, mm. that, that lady has just been on talking about um, her um, speech, the um, you know, the second in the motion, saying she's still in the Labour Party. I felt like that while I was, you know, campaigning locally, you know, I can do some good, but at the same time, such a lot of things are so hard to swallow from the National Party. And when it happened, um, the staffers at Region like uh, I was told they were like rabbits in the headlights because it wasn't just me there were about 15 other councillors in the northwest region alone who've been suspended or excluded really in the last few few weeks yeah. or whatever really yeah. well yeah yeah um, well, I don't think no. they were like the same as me and that they just put their nomination papers in to stand but they were councillors yeah oh this isn't this is something that's not being reported much at all so um mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on. I mean, you'll, 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 we've all got uh, lots of support and love for you. Um, and um, I, I hope this doesn't ruin your, your spring and summer. Um, and come back on the show as well, please. Yeah, I will do, yeah. Be really good.